She travels, she bakes, she's known as the traveling baker. Jamie Machek is in the kitchen with us this morning. In the seven o'clock hour, we made a Moroccan mint tea, yes. and now we're making a Moroccan cookie? Yes, it's called griba. <gasps> Griba. G H R I B A. Griba. Griba. It's a traditional Moroccan cookie with sesame seeds, which yes. gives it a nice grainy texture. But there's also a stick of butter in the cookie, which also makes them light and, well, I won't say light, but buttery and melt in your mouth. So, Ooh. what other ingredients do we have for this cookie? So, we have two cups of flour. So, we're just going to add this to the bowl. Just one big bowl we need? One big bowl. Okay. And then we're going to add a half a cup of powdered sugar. So that'll also give it some nice sweetness. We're going to add a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. Would you like to start yeah, stirring this? you got it. And we're going to add a little bit of salt, just a pinch of salt. Okay. And then if you want, you can add the sesame seeds. So we're going to roast this. It's two tablespoons of sesame seeds. You're just going to ro roast them lightly on the stove top for a few minutes just to bring out the flavor. So you can stir all of that. And traditionally in Moroccan cooking, a lot of times they stir with their hands. <gasps> so if you, Emily, would like to, I knew she would. So. And we washed our hands too, <laughs> we just did. to let you know. So we're gonna add the stick of melted butter. Okay. So get right in there, Emily. Oh, I'm getting in there. <laughs> that feels good. <laughs> it does. Okay. <laughs> I do a bad job, Trevor. No, you're doing awesome. Camera guys laughing. Kind of want to like circle oh. it, like massage the dough, Emily. Um, like you're, <laughs> like really, like. Can we get some music on to massage the you dough? You really wanna, yes, like work it nicely. Work it. Yes. I mean, you're. Am I not doing well? Good? You're kind of rough with that <laughs> right now. So you want, you really want to fold and toss and. Okay. 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 Massage it. Be gentle Be with gentle. it. Be gentle. Be gentle. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. We're gonna add a quarter cup of oil to kind of bring it all together. Now this. This should really help you um, with oh, the yeah. gentleness mm -hmm. factor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so really kind of flip. You're yeah. Kind of, yeah. We don't want to see this right now, so let's bring up pictures. <laughs> I'll make this look better in just a little bit. On um, your recent trip to Vancouver. Yeah, I spent a few days in, in Vancouver. It's a fabulous city, just three hours north of Seattle by train. Um, they have a, a little island called Granville Island. What you're seeing on the screen is the Granville Street Bridge. I rented a bicycle oh. for $6 and uh, biked along the Stanley Park. Um, it's like a five mile park area. The downtown area is, is just beautiful. It's on the water. You can see the mountains in the background. It, it's just a beautiful city. So much to do. That looks fake almost. It's it, so beautiful. It does. It, it's just a beautiful city. They have a, a huge um, Asian population. Um, so tons of Chinese restaurants. They have a huge Chinatown. The show Once Upon a Time on ABC is actually filmed in the oh. little village of Steveston. Um, so I visited the little uh, village and took some pictures of where they film the fictional um, town of Storybrook, Maine. So, oh, cool. Yeah, lots of things. If you're into nature and parks, just lots of opportunities for hiking and, and, and swimming and and just doing all sorts of things outdoors. And the best part, Jamie has a Facebook page, The Traveling Baker, that you yes. can go online and find. Absolutely. Because we have a link on our website at fox11online.com. Okay. Absolutely. How okay. am I doing with this? So actually, you're actually going to work this. In real life, you would work this for about 10 to 15 minutes. Oh which, gosh, Yeah, I know. It's really exhausting. <laughs> you burn <laughs> a lot of calories. Then you're going to cover it for about two hours okay. and just let it sit. Then you're going to form it into a ball. So go ahead and try to, like... Yeah. Mm, well. Yeah. Okay. Let me try. Yeah. You you take on. <laughs> look at that, people. That's why she's a pro. Yeah. You're really just gonna kind of form it into a ball, okay. flatten a little. So you can see the sesame seeds in there. Yeah. You're gonna put it on a pan. I like parchment paper because then you're not messing up the pan and you're not burning the cookies. Okay. You're gonna put these in. You're gonna bake these uh, for about 10 to 15 minutes, just until they turn golden brown along the edges and on the bottoms at 375. And when you take them out. You'll want to cool them on a wire rack um, just for a few minutes and let them cool. And when they're ready to eat, they are great with a cup of coffee, with milk, with the Moroccan tea that we just made. Um, they're just they're just wonderful. Recipes are online at fox11online.com. Just click on the Good Day Wisconsin tab. I'm going to wash my hands so that I can dig into those. Good Day Wisconsin will be right back.